everyone, today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make another corsage flower um, or corsage size flower. Um, I did make a different video with um, this corsage flower and um, this was originally from a template that I have, so this is template 13. This is also from another larger template that I have, um, this is template 8. And I had been asked if I can make corsage size flowers, and so this is my version for it. And I'm going to show you really quickly how I put that together. So I have, um, I'm going to put this to the side here. I have six pieces. These are all from my template eight. Um, I just made the shape from there. I have two little um, black flower centers that I made to go along with it to make it look exactly like that. So for this flower, um, it's a similar process to the other one. I just want to curl the edges of the flower slightly. Um, if you haven't seen my other video, you could also do this with a, um, sorry, you can also use um, a glue stick. So this is where a glue stick would work perfectly. I tend not to use glue sticks, but they work just fine here. You just need a quick little curl, and then you can layer them on top of each other like that. What I like about these corsage flowers is that they are so easy to make once you have the shapes cut out. Um, in all of my other videos, except the corsage video I suppose, um, the flower needs um, prep where you uh, usually cut a slit or you glue it to a base and you have to shape it or you have to do a number of things to get the petals ready. Curling it. Um, cutting a slate, gluing it together, and here all you need to do is cut it out, I mean cut the shape out, and then curl the ends really quickly. It doesn't even have to be uniform so much. And then you glue the layers together, make a really simple flower center. Uh, this I use my Silhouette Cameo to cut out. And then you're done. And these flowers can be used I think in many different applications. So once I have them all glued together, I mean, sorry, once I have them all curled, I'd like to glue it together. So if you think of it a shape of a triangle here, I just glue it kind of upside down. And I want the petals to be creased upwards. So I'll just do that now. This gives it that um, lift in the petal. I think this is the next size. Did I? Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I have this right sizes. Okay, great. So a little bit of glue here, and in a lot of ways, it's the same process as I did before with. Um, the larger petals, uh, the normal size template, if you will. I'm just doing it in a much quicker way. And um, these flowers are so adorable, so I feel like these are way better than the larger ones. All right, so I have my three layers. I'm going to glue the second largest layer to the largest one and like the other video if you saw it I want to put the petal the second layer in between the leaves of the first one so I'm offsetting it just a little bit or rotating it and then I want to do the same to the smallest petal I think this could have easily used another layer. 
that's all right. And so with the centers, I have one that's slightly larger than the other. I just want them to be curled a little bit. Okay, and then I just want to glue the two together first. And then I glue this to the flower. <laughs> All right, there you go. It looks so cute. Um, again, I said that it would be intended for a corsage flower. So this is what it looks like on my wrist. It's a little big, but I did make some in different sizes, even smaller. It just gets a little tricky to cut them out when they're smaller. Um, in my other video, I show you how I put a bar pin on the back so that it could be used kind of like a brooch or you could attach it to um, fabric if you'd like. But thank you so much for watching.